Hello everyone. Yes, it's me again, Tolue Feturi. I promised to do some videos on uh, addition strategies, subtraction strategies, and uh, math strategies for preschoolers and uh, elementary, lower elementary children in general. So today I'm going to start with counting on. That is the beginning. Counting on. How do you help your child to add uh, realistically, I mean, with concrete ideas in mind? How do you help your child to add up things with concrete objects in mind? Not just saying 2 plus 3. But the child knows that when you say 2 plus 3, it means 2 things plus 3 other things, you know. It is very important they have that sense of uh, concrete um, numbers, so to speak, when they are adding, because there's no addition uh, in in a, that exists in a vacuum. It means they need this number sense to be able to put things together, you know, objects together, count things, you know, use it for. Um, dealing with um, change use it for dealing with buying things use it in all their dealings later on in life so it is very important they know this from the beginning so what do you do when you start with a preschooler i'm talking of, about the ages of maybe three four you know even sometimes five you bring objects together so two cups plus one cup equals three cups when we put them together two pencils plus two pencils equals four pencils when we put them together so you must start with the concrete first you must start with the concrete just like when we are talking about counting we said it is now wrong for you to start teaching children numerals before you teach them quantity so quantity comes first also this is true for addition when you want to introduce them to addition bring the concrete things around them for them to put together first the next is pictures pictures when they are writing in the book bring pictures of those concrete things and put them uh, uh, let them count them together and add them together so you have two apples plus two apples equals four apples in this you are teaching number sense you are teaching counting sense you are teaching addition sense you are also teaching literacy apples the spelling let them write it down let them not just write four that's one of the problem we have in most of the test books we have let them not just write four let them write four apples two apples plus two apples two apples with another two apples two apples add another two apples equals four apples so these two strategies you must use with your beginners so that they have this number uh, addition sense another one which you can use for ages five to six to seven is counting on counting on so what does this mean the child needs to know that when i'm adding i am just counting on when i'm adding a number to another number i am counting on. So I have 7 plus 6. So I continue 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm counting on. So the children need to know that addition is counting on. And one of the means you can help them to have this in them is you teach them counting from your head and your fingers 
counting with your head and your fingers the head signifies that it is in their mind so they have a number in their mind so let's put seven plus six seven plus six seven which is the first number in my head and six on my fingers so the children go seven in my head eight nine ten eleven twelve and 13 so the child will say seven in my head six on my fingers makes 13 so that is counting on it is a very important uh, aspect of mathematics that the children learn to coordinate what is in their mind with their fingers it is something that research has found that helps them in their critical reasoning skills to develop their critical reasoning skills so you need to let them practice this over and over seven in my head six on my fingers because i'm using my other hand i couldn't show you number six but they can also use it like this okay for bigger numbers you can say 58 in my head plus nine 58 in my head plus nine on my fingers they can also get it you can count forward for any amount of numbers so using the fingers to count is good for children don't tell them no don't use your finger draw circles no there's a time for drawing circles but there's also a place for drawing for using the fingers rather for using the fingers and using their mind it helps them after a while they will get over using the hands or using the fingers but it's not bad if they even continue to use their fingers so many mathematical strategies right now out there using uh, abacus using they, they start with the fingers. They start with the fingers. So it's a good thing for your child to use the fingers to count or to add on. So these are some of the maths counting on and, and uh, addition strategies that I'm going to be talking about today. I'm going to do another video on this. I hope you watch and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell so that you can get more notifications on videos whenever i post thank you so much for watching let me know if this helps bye